A quick guide to culturing infusoria. Many species of fish fry start out too small to eat foods like microworms and newly hatched brine shrimp. Infusoria are a good food for such fish. The term infusoria does not refer to a single species, but rather to various microorganisms such as paramecia, rotifers, etc. that thrive in an infusion, which is made by pouring boiling water over vegetable matter. Here's how to culture infusoria. Supplies. You will need one or more clean, well-rinsed jars, about one quart in capacity, water from an established aquarium as a starter culture, non-toxic vegetable matter such as these lettuce leaves, canned green beans, and green peas, a windowsill that receives some sunlight. Setup. Place your plant matter of choice in the jar. Green beans should be split open and peas should be slipped out of their skins. Slowly and carefully pour boiling water over the plant matter. If you pour too quickly or your jar is too cold, it could crack. In any case, be careful when pouring boiling water and do so at your own risk. Alternatively, with previously frozen and or cooked items such as canned green beans and peas, the boiling water steps may be omitted. Allow the infusion to cool. Add the aquarium water. Set the jars in the sunny windowsill and wait. Watch the cultures over the next few days. Typically, the water will soon turn cloudy as the plant matter decays and bacterial populations bloom. A scum may form on the surface of the water. You may want to swirl or stir the culture occasionally to help ensure sufficient oxygen exchange. At first, infusoria will be present in fairly low densities. However, as they prey on the bacteria and reproduce, the water will begin to clear. The clearing is a sign that the infusoria population is booming and ready to feed to your fry. This is a drop of aquarium water from the aquarium used to seed the infusoria culture, seen under a microscope. Here is a drop of water from the infusoria culture a few days later. Here is yet another from a few days after that, when the infusoria have begun to increase in population. And finally, here is a drop of water from the fully mature culture. When your fry are free swimming, it is time to offer infusoria. A turkey baster may be used to harvest and feed out the infusoria. Try to avoid collecting any surface scum or detritus from the bottom of the jar. Feed several times per day. If the fry are eating, you should see their bellies begin to bulge. For larger numbers of fry or to provide constant food, you may want to create a slow drip siphon. Position the infusoria culture so that the surface of the water in the culture is near the aquarium but higher up. Use a water-filled length of flexible airline tubing. Silicone tubing is more flexible than vinyl. Create a siphon and then loosely tie off the end that leads to the aquarium. Adjust the tightness of the knot for a slow, steady drip. Make sure that the aquarium can accommodate the extra water without overflowing. Infusoria cultures may take up to a couple of weeks to mature. Start your cultures well before your fish lay eggs so that they will be ready to harvest once your fry are free swimming. You can stagger the creation of several cultures over a period of days to ensure steady production. Most fry grow quickly. After a few days of infusoria, they may be ready for larger foods such as vinegar eels, microworms, or walter worms, and then on to newly hatched brine shrimp.